We did rotary diffusion, which would be caused by rub A and rub B in E. coli, and something else in eukaryotes. We made some heteroduplex. If there's a base pair mismatch in there, the S system will go and correct it, and we'll have gene conversion. We will have gene conversion. The only question is whether the gene conversion will be associated with a recombination or not. Now, we have a holiday junction resolvase. It can cut and close. It can cut and close by snipping here and putting these back together, fix, 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 and what we have is yellow heteroduplex and back to yellow if we cut and join this way, right? So that's, then we'll have gene conversion, but no crossover. Now these guys are just strands. They're flopping in the wind. So it can just, it, it's, it's exactly the same molecule if we flop it like this. Okay. Hang on, hang on. And now if we tangle out the mess, if we untangle the mess, which two strands are crossed? The opaque strands or the transparent strands? Remember before the opaque strands were crossed, before we flopped it? Now we did the flop, and the transparent strands appear to be crossed. Now the enzyme doesn't know whether the DNA is in the flip form or the flop form. It just comes along to see some strands hanging out in the wind in the middle there, you know, and it, it nicks and, and rejoins. So we'll nick and rejoin. So there's ligase. There's ligase. <laughs> and look. Mom is joined to dad with heteroduplex in the middle, right? Okay, that was a recombination event. The recombination event happened when one strand flopped over the other. If it flopped, we got recombination. If it didn't flop, we didn't get recombination. Either way, we had heteroduplex and gene conversion in the middle. Okay? Now, did you sort of see how that worked with the model? If, if, if you remember how that worked with the model, you can go to the drawing of the holiday junction, and you can do that flip in your head if you, if you work at it. And then you'll understand it as a 2D drawing. Uh, but it's, it's hard if you start out just with the drawing. Okay. So that's really where I wanted to get to in this lecture. So we have a few minutes left. 